Getty here for Boy King Geek at Gen Con 50. I'm sitting down with Andy Looney of Looney Labs. Hi there. And you brought us, you said brand new, literally. Brand new. Nana Fictionary came out yesterday. <laughs> Went on sale yesterday. That. That's right. Absolutely. Well, take, let's dive right in. What are we trying to accomplish? Okay, well, Nana Fictionary is a card game of telling tiny stories. Nano, very short. The, the idea is like, we're like in an elevator, we have just a few seconds to pitch a story to some big shot or somebody like that. And so you have to keep it short. Um, but you still have to hit all the elements necessary for a complete story. And uh, I was an English minor, so I, I, I learned that you have to have at least one character, you have to have the setting, you have to have conflict of some sort, and, and then you have to have a, a resolution, exactly. So we've created cards with all of those little building blocks. So let's take a look at some of them. So. You have a couple of characters, so we've got the alien disguised as a human and the vegetarian songwriter. Um, they're appropriately enough at a convention. That's good. And these are just whatever were on the top of the deck. I didn't even stage these. They really were, I, I set up the piles and these were the ones on top. And I looked at them and said, oh, these are great. So uh, a terrible accident involving food is our, our conflict. And so the ending we've got here now, oh, they realized they were in love. And so, right there, it's already practically told you a story. But um, if, if the way it works is we're going to have a hand of cards, and it'll start with five cards, and you can then sort of tweak and change your set so that you can make it just right. So the game will start actually with each pile. I haven't even seen these. All right, we got the um, late night talk show host. It, it, on it's the ground, the, it, well, it's got a couple of characters, All right. but and the uh, the. The schoolgirl school with unhelp with the surprising abilities, <laughs> and the late night talk show host, the ground of the asylum, and um, the war was narrowly averted. Now these are these are just we start out the seed piles because everybody's going to have a hand of two characters, a setting, a problem, and a resolution. Now, you've already seen the ones I've got in All my right. hand, All right. but you've got a hand of your uh -huh. own, and so during the game. We'll take turns saying, you know, I'm going to add a story. You could choose one of the ones from the discard piles, or you could get something fresh. And you could tweak it up and be like, you know, this problem isn't really working for me. I want a different one. Or I don't like these characters. And you kind of mix and match until you've got the building blocks you're happy with. <laughs> then you will say, okay, I'm ready with my story. And you'll grab the lowest number. And then when everyone has done that, and up to six can play, when everyone is ready with their story, we will each tell a little story based on the cards we've collected. And then we'll vote for the story we like best. <laughs> and you can't vote for your own. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, that goes without saying. Yeah, and which is why we actually need three or more players mm -hmm. to properly play this game. So, I'm just giving you really kind of an overview. But if you have three players, then everybody can vote for somebody and, you, and they'll be, uh, end up being a clear winner. And if there is a tie, whoever grabbed the lower number goes out goes Cause for they wins because they finish sooner exactly so that's that's basically how it works and there's just all kind of crazy characters <laughs> time travelers the Say, defective robot the, the president really making me oh it's it's a lot of fun um our our customer service woman is uh named allison and she's been with our company for almost as long as it's existed and she drew all these cartoons and actually even though this is fresh and brand new because it just came out yesterday it's also a reprint. It's a re, a re, a, 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 basically a reworking of a game I published 15 years ago. Same name, but I've changed a lot of it. It's it had the same kind of characters and elements, but it used the same. Um, I used a very different structure, and I've greatly improved the way it plays. And she's redone all the art, so it's a whole new game, even though it is. A, re, a reissue of an older game. Is there a card that sticks out as your personal favorite? Is there one that really speaks to you? <laughs> <laughs> um, I gosh, I don't know. There, they're all. There's a lot of fun <laughs> ones, and I'm, I'm trying to think if the, you know. Usually, I put myself in these games somewhere, and I'm not sure I've done that in this oh. particular case. So. I, I can't even fall back to that. I do love the dude who always says okay. dude. He's oh, pretty good. Oh, the dude who always says dude. I, you know, I, 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 although the incognito starship captain might be a good choice because we call, you know, our pyramids, Pyramid Arcade, we say that anybody who knows 10 different pyramid games, we call them a starship captain. So I like that one. Anyway, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. And it's also good educational value-wise because yes. 
you're, you're, you're learning about you know writing and the building blocks of storytelling. Well, I can see kids having really fun time being able to create cards of yes. the different decks themselves and. Um, also having that since they can't vote on themselves that really gets a lot of conversation going on you have to justify why you think that person's story exactly. was best it's good yeah, 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 thinking yeah. skills there yeah it, it's uh, it, it's it's got a lot of el interesting elements and I think it's going to do real well for us well Andy I'm so glad that this was able to sneak in under the line so you could show it to us today if sure. you guys want to check that out that is Nano Fictionary from Looney Labs and thank you again thank you thanks for playing our game